So Pokemon's 25th anniversary is finally here, and I just cannot believe that Pokemon has been around since I was about three years old. You know, as far back as I can remember, I've always had a Pokemon game or had Pokemon in my life in some sort of way. I remember having Pokemon bed set as a kid and having uh, Pokemon cups and I got my first Pokemon game when I was pretty young for Christmas. I remember my parents went and got me a Game Boy Color along with a couple games, which happened to be Pokemon Yellow and Donkey Kong Country from a game store in town called Rhinos. And I remember spending the entire morning playing Pokemon until it was time to get up and open the rest of our presents and everything. And it's always just been such a really important part of my life I feel like and it's so cool to see what Pokemon has become over the course of 25 years and I think that's made me even more excited for getting to see what the Pokemon company wanted to reveal today and man I feel like they really just kind of knocked it out of the park with everything they had quite a good showing especially after what happened with the state of play and with people kind of feeling disappointed there and the Nintendo Direct and people not feeling super excited about it. But I really feel like it definitely more than made up for it. We got three games that really seem like they're going to be a blast to play going forward. And the first one we've got to talk about is Pokemon Snap. Now, we kind of already knew that Snap was coming around the corner. Um, April 30th is the release date for Pokemon Snap, but I this is one of the first times we've really got a more in-depth trailer to kind of take a look at everything, and the game just looks great. You've still got the same gameplay loop, it kind of seems, from the Nintendo 64, if you remember those games, I'm sure you do, and um, nothing much about the core formula is really changing, and... I'm perfectly cool with that. We're still taking pictures and trying to get the best photo possible, be the best photographer possible, getting Pokemon in different environments and in different um, actions and stuff like that. Um, with a few cool new elements that they're bringing to the table, like a photo editor, for example, and the ability to upload your photos and kind of get some online recognition for some of the best photos out there, which is pretty cool, as well as a few new tools that make some of the effects the Pokemon are doing a little bit different. I really like the kind of spin they have on it with a new region and everything. It seems super fun. I'll definitely just want to be playing it for nostalgia's sake at this point. I really wanted another Pokemon Snap ever since I was a kid and I'm just excited to be getting one on the Switch and I think it's going to be great to be able to take on the go with you. Uh, but the two stars of the show really to me were Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl and La Legend of Arceus. And the remake of Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl has been something that people, everybody I know who's a Pokemon fan has really wanted, right? I think it's been one of my favorite Pokemon games. It came out in 2006, I believe, and I thought it was one of the coolest Pokemon games at the time ever, you know? The legendaries were super cool from the idea of like one that stopped and created time and one was from space and you had Garantina that's kind of hidden away in a cave who came about more in Pokemon Platinum and it was an awesome game it really has deserved a remake I'm so glad to see it get it remade on the Switch and there's kind of been a divisive point for what I've been seeing too is the art style in the game it seems like a lot of people are kind of split on I personally think the art style looks great. I didn't really want a sword and shield style art style. I think that's a really cool art style they have for the sword and shield game. But I really appreciate the fact that the way they did the art style with it really feels just like a natural evolution of the Nintendo DS to me. And the world is kind of pretty much the same. And it's just been revamped in this almost modern DS art style that I think looks awesome i'm super excited to play it i'll definitely be getting shining pearl when it comes out um let me know which is your favorite guys were you a uh a diamond or are you a pearl fan back in the day like i said for me it was pearl and then we got on to what was the most 
interesting thing I think I've seen in a minute from the Pokemon company, and that is the Legend of Arceus. And there's so much kind of shrouded in mystery of what's going on, kind of like why we're doing a dodge roll in Pokemon. You know, I just uh, kind of think now, looking at the trailer, I'm just like, man, this feudal area of Pokemon, We I talked about this the other day with a friend of mine, and I was like, man, how did they get Pokemon back in the day? Did they have Pokeballs, you know? Did they... Um, it wasn't as an advanced civilization. So, like, what really happened, you know? Did people just go out in the world and just, you know, run into a Machoke and just get wrecked? Run! Fucking run! You're going nowhere! Watch, watch, out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! When they're out there, you know, just running into all these different Pokemon. And it's cool to see them kind of explore that before era and it be in Sinnoh, too. Um, along with it being Arceus, which, of course, in Pokemon lore is the creator of kind of everything. So I think it's just like a super cool way to tie in Diamond and Pearl as well as kind of go back and get to see that. Um, especially with some of the starters they picked. I feel like they've got a lot of different variation kind of in there. And... I've seen a lot of comparison to the Breath of the Wild, and this is maybe Pokemon's big Breath of the Wild type moment and type idea, and uh, I'm just happy to see them trying to do something new and push the franchise in a new direction, really. I think that the trailer looks a little bit rough, like some of the frame rate, like especially on the um, the Chingling that kind of walked by and some other things is a little bit uh, shaky, but the game is seems like it's an early development. So, I mean, it doesn't come out until early 2022 and I've I'm sure they've got a lot more to show. So I'm looking forward to seeing more of what they're going to show off and kind of like if there's just one settlement, is it a big just open world? Um, you know, I really would like to see some new model designs potentially and some new animation for the Pokemon, especially since we've kind of gotten the first Sword and Shield and stuff like that. I think that was one thing that kind of disappointed me a little bit in Sword and Shield was some of the animations. And I think one thing that also kind of disappointed me was the game itself didn't feel um, very tough to me, in my opinion. Like, I really enjoyed a lot of the old school Pokemon where you had moments that were felt kind of tense like you know your rock tunnels or your really difficult type dungeons so um i'm kind of difficult to see uh kind of excited to see how they uh take the difficulty curve and change that around so i am going to be watching legends of arceus quite closely and i'm super excited for that direction even no matter like how it turns out i'm just excited that they're trying to push the mold and do something new and i think all in all i'm thrilled with what i saw for the pokemon event today i think it was one of the strongest showings of of games we've seen over the past you know couple weeks and it gives me a lot personally to look forward to so and I'd love to know what you guys think. Um, were you excited about the Pokemon Direct? Are you excited that we're the 25th anniversary? Uh, what's your favorite Pokemon game? You know, we've got 25 years of Pokemon to pick from. And what was your guys' favorite game? I'd love to hear from you. Let me know in the comments down below. And, of course, if you guys do enjoy the content we do and the stuff that we put on the channel, please do leave a like and subscribe. It's a big help to me. And I'd love to hear from you guys. So... That's all we got to talk about today, guys. I'm excited for Pokemon. I can't wait. And as always, we'll talk to you guys next time.